Welcome to the cab of an electric train here in Wellington. This is Marty who has been driving trains like this for about seven years. Hey. Tell us a bit about your job, Marty. Well, I'm, I'm pretty lucky to work in Wellington as a, as a locomotive engineer. Our job is uh, getting people from A to B um, quickly and as safely as we can. Um, we have a, a lot of responsibility in terms of looking after our passengers, keeping, keeping people safe, not only on the trains, but on the platforms, the crossings, all the places surrounding the trains as well. So it's a pretty responsible sort of job. Mm. And this is Rail Safety Week, and we've heard this week that there's something like over 400 near misses yeah. a year to do with trains. What are some of the key messages that you want to get across to people around the, the rail network? I think the key thing with uh, awareness around trains is just using your senses. Um, we find a lot of people, children especially, uh, on platforms and level crossings and pedestrian crossings, they've got the hoodie on, they've got the earphones in, they're looking at their phones and they're just walking along, almost like a, like a zombie if you like. Um, these trains are really quiet when they run, so when a train's coming through if in a level crossing or even a pedestrian crossing that may or may not have bells and lights. Um, if you're not listening and you're not watching, you know, it's, it's dangerous. And I personally have had a situation with a, a young girl walking out through an uncontrolled crossing. Um, same scenario, headphones in, watching her phone, just walking straight across the track in front of me. The girl behind her grabbed her school bag and pulled her back out of the way. And I, that's how close it was. Um, simple things like that. So you be aware, look, listen. Um, these things aren't safe if you're if you're not being careful around them. Yeah, mm, I think one of the biggest things is that you can't stop in a hurry, can you? No, no, we cannot. Um, we're allowed to drive these things at 90 kilometres an hour uh, maximum speed on our lines. We can't do that everywhere, but we're allowed to do 90 where we can. Um, if you put the emergency brake on at 90 kilometres an hour, we're talking about 400 metres minimum oh. to stop. Um, and uh, often time where you see something approaching or coming across the track in front of you by the time you've got the brake on you've got the horn on you are almost passed where you see uh, the possible uh, the possible incident so yeah 400 meters it's a, it's a long way it is indeed and and with trains being quiet not all trains of course but the electric trains being very quiet got, yeah. got to be very aware and you're only allowed to cross the track on official crossings aren't you absolutely yeah yep 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 it's it, i know it's tempting sometimes where you've got a quick shortcut to get across the track but again if you're not just don't do it it's just not worth the risk use the crossings use the bridges you're safe there you're not safe walking across tracks but you guys, you do have control, so stay safe out there around trains. Thanks, Marty. For sure. That's a good pleasure.